that we have an uphill climb ahead of us, but we are used to fighting uphill climbs. We have been fighting uphill from the first day of this campaign when people considered us a fringe candidacy. And our message to the Democratic delegates who will be assembling in Philadelphia is while we may have many disagreements with Secretary Clinton, there is one area we agree, and that is we must defeat Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump is not going to become president for a number of reasons. <laughs> And the major reason is that the American people understand that we cannot have a president who has insulted Latinos and Mexicans. Who has insulted Muslims. who every day is insulting women in one way or another. Who has insulted veterans like John McCain and others. Who has insulted African Americans in a very profound way. People sometimes forget that before Mr. Trump was running for president, he was one of the leaders of the so-called Bertha Movement. And that movement was a very ugly effort to delegitimize the presidency of the first African-American president in our history. CNN's Brianna Keeler is with the Sanders campaign in Oregon. It was a big night for Bernie Sanders, Brianna. He and his supporters are supercharged now, but does this change the map for him? You know, the math would have to change in order for him to be successful in achieving the Democratic nomination. And it was interesting because when you heard him say tonight, he's sort of laying out why the math is so difficult. He said, we have received 45% of the pledge delegates. So superdelegates aside, that's where Hillary Clinton has a major lead. Just look at the pledge delegates where she has a lead of about 300. He's saying, we have a, we've done about 45% so far. In order for Bernie Sanders to even break, uh, really to break even with Hillary Clinton on these pledge delegates, he would have to win 66% of them going forward in these next several contests before 